I enjoy the journey to Jackson as much as being there racing Jackson, to be honest. Like it's, I like training, I like having goals. I like, yeah, I like having a, a purpose. As a kid, I worked in an auto shop. Being small town, that shop was really cool because we did do everything from complete motor tear down to whatever, and especially at that time, a lot more repair versus just changing parts. The idea of wrenching, I think, started early on. My dad was, of all things, into British sports cars. And so we grew up around that idea that you could always do and sort of make work what you wanted, right? So I like old cars. I like fixing things. I like having those skill sets. And it's just sort of part of life, right? Racing is just a totally different element, right? Like, I mean, and I think that was part of the draw for me is it's so polar opposite to the snowmobiling that I'd spent the last decade of my life doing. You know, like where I cruise around in the backcountry exploring new places all the time and avoiding tracks at absolutely all cost. Working with Carl now for, well, just about 10 years going on and absolutely Carl would have influenced me to sort of go down the path of racing. I think for a snowmobiler, Jackson Hole hill climb is kind of like this monumental sort of outing. And there's something about it that has an allure to a lot of people, even if they're not racers. Like it's packed out, you know, trenched out, ignorant riding. And it's just so different that I think that was the, the draw is sort of tackling a new, a new way to ride a snowmobile. What are the challenges racing Jackson? Every kid there is super fast. Just trying to go down there and even be quasi-competitive amongst people that, you know, kind of eat, sleep, and breathe racing is, uh, that's a huge challenge, I think. Getting to Jackson is half the battle and building the sleds is just as important as all the training you do. If your sled doesn't work, it's not gonna get you to the top of the mountain either. And it's definitely a part of it that I enjoy putting time into and, you know, trying to make sure everything's right and tuned right and the way it should be. For me, mentally preparing is putting time in before, whether it's going to the gym in the morning or you know putting time on a practice track. At the end of the day, if you can take your fitness out of the equation, then it's just chopping away at you know variables. You know what can you control? Because racing is all about being out of control. <laughs> Even only in the second year of Lynx being in North America, or, you know, the first full season that we've had here that we've got support and kind of going in the racing direction and hopefully I can be part of paving the future, I guess, for Lynx and racing in North America. <laughs>